Well, Jeff and Pat, you can see the charred home behind me. It has been red tagged. It's still not clear what started the fire that left that man dead and his sister gravely injured. They were part of a large family that has now lost three siblings in just three years. My brother, he was a very outgoing person. He didn't have no illnesses or anything. It's this. Oh, I'm sorry. Amy Gagal fought back tears as she talked about the loss of her brother, 64 year old George Hills. Firefighters tried to save him, but he died at the hospital. He was a nice, caring, compassionate, give the shirt off his back, help anybody that was needing help, do anything he could for you. They say their sister Yolanda was also in the house on Layton Avenue when the fire broke out around 12 30. Well, right now, she's on life support right now. They saying that she might not make it, but I know I have a guy. So anything is possible. Firefighters say everyone else made it out okay. We only found a couple smoke detectors, unknown if those smoke detectors were active and actually had uh, batteries or operating. Um, the smoke detectors possibly that would be placed in the rest of the rooms were not were not present. They say 16 people, including four children, were living in the converted eight bedroom home being used as a care and board facility. Family members say the victim not only lived in the home, but worked there as well. And my sister was working there too. They would do the laundry and cook and give medication. We spoke to a woman who said she's been leasing the house for 15 years. She said her own daughter and grandchildren lived in the house where George Hills was called a peacemaker by many. He was just a nice person to be around and caring and yeah I'm a missing dearly. Now, one firefighter sustained minor injuries out here this morning. Now, we've been told by investigators that the home is not officially registered as a boarding care and no documentation has been found supporting a business at the home. Reporting live in Exposition Park, Amy Johnson, CBS 2 News.